Hi, my name is Ashley Feeks, and this is my learning summary for my lesson plan. When creating my lesson plan, I created a set of presentation slides that included two educational videos, games, and learning activities for my lesson plan. For this lesson, the goal of it was to teach students how to add and subtract single and double digit numbers within a hundred using both regular equations and word problems. Throughout my process for this, I chose apps such as IXL, I chose Math Playground, and Education.com. IXL was used for the learning activities and Education.com Math Playground and also Cool Math was used for the games. For this lesson plan, the reason I chose so many different apps for technology was not only to give students a chance with different types of technology, but to also give them different choices when they chose their games, so that way there would be differentiation in my lesson plan. Another choice students also got which didn't have to do with the technology, was well, students got a chance to whether they decided to work with a partner or by themselves. My lesson plan also met with uh, students' needs by not having a time limit on either the activity or game. They would just have a timer for each slide, which would vary to about, I would say, 15 minutes, so that way they would have plenty of time to play through the game at least once and do the learning activity at least once. For my technology resources, I chose IXL because as a student, I personally used IXL and that app did not have a timer for me, so it did help me not worry when I was doing my activities. I also chose education.com and math playground so that way students would have the chance to do not only games but different types of games. That way they're not only using one app in one lesson because using one app in one lesson doesn't always give students the opportunity to learn how to use different types of technology. For my challenges during this lesson plan, one was that not all games on sites are free. Um, I got two free games available to me through education.com, but once those two were done, it asked me to subscribe. And one challenge was knowing which apps are cheaper than others. For example, education.com had two subscriptions. One was where you could pay $59 for a whole year, or you could pay $8 per month. IXL was much more expensive depending on which subscription which was subscription plan, I apologize, that you chose to use. And that one could go up to $250 per year. Overall, throughout this lesson plan, I learned a lot about how using technology is not as easy as it may seem, but in all, education needs technology. Technology being enhanced in lessons helps students be able to be more engaged and can also provide differentiation. Thank you.